So can people drive hands-free safely? Yes. But are we seeing problems when people have to interact very quickly? Yes, yes. And I think we as a research community, I, I think we need to do more uh, on that. And indeed, the phantom braking is another problem. We cannot, as humans, react as fast as cars can. Cars can get on the brakes so much faster than humans that our attention span often in a lot of cases, first of all, it, and if it's happening in a weird situation, like in the Bay Bridge Tunnel, like your brain, there were people who were probably paying attention and then they saw the Tesla come to a hard braking and their brain just couldn't compute it fast enough. Like what? Like it's confusing, right? You don't normally see somebody slamming on their brakes in the middle of the Bay Bridge Tunnel. So people forget that there's a cognitive computation cost for humans to have to jump back into a situation. And all of this is to say, we're not doing a good job. I think, uh, I think we, we academics, industry are doing a bad job putting people in scenarios where they're set up for failure.